So our next uh, item about Mercury to discuss of the three, we discussed its composition and the fact that it's all core. Uh, number two is the magnetic field, and number three will be about timing. So we're on our number two right here about Mercury's magnetic field. Okay, so this may be a relatively short video, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so what about the magnetic field? Well, we know that Mercury is geologically dead, sort of like our moon. And what that means, of course, being geologically dead is there's no volcanoes, at least now, no volcanoes or earthquakes, you know, or the plate tectonics or anything like that. So we know that for sure. And also its rotation is slow. And so now when you think then back to what gives a planet its Earth's magnetic field, we discussed this in terms of the Earth, you have to have a planet that's spinning like this. And if it's spinning, it has to have a core like that. And the core is, of course, going to be so hot that it's going to have a bunch of ions in there, a bunch of positive and negative and positive and negative charges that also swirl around as the planet swirls around. And, of course, when the charges move, that's where our magnetic field comes from. So Mercury is geologically dead, as we said, and the rotation is slow. So the question is, do you think it has a magnetic field? So being geologically dead means there shouldn't be any activity down here. Rotation slow is nothing's going to get those ions sloshing around down there in its core. So if you answered no on the magnetic field, pat yourself on the back. Good guess, but you're wrong. Turns out Mercury has a magnetic field. It's weak, it's about 1% of the Earth's, but it is there. And the reason why I said this um, video is gonna be short is we don't know why. We don't know why it has a magnetic field. Maybe it's not as geologically dead as we think. Maybe it has a molten core after all, where those charges are swirling around there, generating a planetary wide magnetic field. But on the other hand, it does have that, that slow rotation in there, so that doesn't hold up. Uh, the other explanation may very well be, if I scroll just a minute here and take a look at Mercury again here, this core here with all this iron in it here, iron is something that can sort of preserve and exhibit a magnet, magnetic field itself. Like, for example, if you go back to the core of Mercury, this large iron core it has, has all this iron around it. That is sort of the Mercury look like this. Here's this, this huge mutant core it has, and here's sort of the, the outer layers of Mercury, you know, something like that. If this is just a bunch of iron in here, then what iron can do sometimes is sort of preserve magnetism. And you kind of know this because this is how magnets are sort of made. Magnets are made out of iron and they're processed to hold a magnetic field. Maybe Mer Mercury is doing the same thing, just to guess. We don't know. But we do know that Mercury does get, again, yeah, this is that picture of the deadly solar wind, does have some solar wind protection. So if we look at it here, here comes all that awful stuff from the sun. And it does have these magnetic field lines that we discussed and the planetary ions or so on to sort of go around Mercury. So it does have... A magnetic field strong enough to even give it some planetary protection from the solar wind. This is a view of Mercury then, just as I close this video out here. This was a uh, messenger was the name of this probe went up there. So this wasn't Mariner. So we get these very nice photographs of Mercury. And you can just look at it again. Look at all the craters and things that are just sitting there, all four and a half billion years old. And the important part about this dead geology that we think anyway, you know, is there's just no lava or flows that sort of came around and filled in any of these craters. There's none of the plate tectonics that erased craters, anything like that. These craters are just sitting there on Mercury. So it is a bit of a curious item about why the planet has a magnetic field, but it does have one.